He was um, very kind, very generous, uh, funny. Um, and then, of course, he had his business side, which was to perform. Photographs. Uh, if she would like to help out in this, and naturally my mum loved the idea and started digging in, delving into the old photographs. an opportunity for my mum really to show her relatives and all her friends uh, really to invite them to come and see the exhibition because mum is always proud of her son what he's achieved and when India like as you say was his hometown in his earlier years it made it uh, more sense to come along. I read it somewhere that India's population is very high with uh, the AIDS disease so I think the more is done about AIDS awareness, the better. And with my brother's name behind it, of course, uh, a lot of people would uh, come to see the exhibition and find out what it's all about. Well, he always said London was his home. When he got Garden Lodge, it was beautiful. And he made the garden into a Japanese garden because he loved going to Japan. I always enjoyed visiting him because he'd got a chef, he'd got a chauffeur. I liked all those things, but also it was lovely to just sit down and have a chat as a brother and sister. And we would talk all kinds of things, you know. He did say that he has got an incurable blood disease. And I just said to him, it's not AIDS, is it? And he completely denied it. But I knew that it was. AIDS. But he didn't want to talk about it, so I respected his wishes. When Freddie would see his own videos, he would say, oh, I was handsome then, and that is, that's very, very hurtful, that he knew what he was going through. Because I, I thought my brother was handsome. <laughs> Still do. Um, I, I really thought that was, that was so, so sad. My mum visited him more time than dad. I don't think dad could take it because he looked like a skeleton towards the end. And I remember very clearly my dad was reading one of the many articles and tears were pouring down his face onto the newspaper. And he said, this should have been me instead of Freddie. I remember that so clearly, it was so sad. I felt that it was a waste of a lovely, talented life. Also for those people who died in the same period as Freddie, it was such a bad stigma and, and the shame behind it all that a lot of families didn't understand who died on their own, which I thought is such a shame. <laughs>